Well, I'm delighted to be here today in Dumbo Park and I think if you just look all around us, hundreds of children with their parents all playing very happily. I mean this park itself had been really underinvested in, in the last number of years. People like Fran McCann, who's a local MLA for the area for Sinn Féin, has worked tirelessly over the last number of years to ensure that their proper investment has been put into this park. Today we see the benefits of that where the local people in the local community are enjoying the, the many facilities that we have. There's exercise courses, there's walking trails, there's play parks, there's everything in this park that anybody could wish for. And I think that this is a very famous park over the last number of years where you'd seen many years ago where a lot of even the protest rallies and rallies against internment and hunger strikes were all would have came into this park. It's right on the doorstep of the Royal Hospital where thousands of people come every day for work and also thousands of people come every day to visit their loved ones. It's just an absolutely amazing facility in the heart of West Belfast. People of West Belfast are very proud of it but also very proud of the people who delivered it. And I was down to the hard work of um, Sinn Féin, MLA, Framacon and others and within the community sector to ensure that there's proper investment in this part of the area. Well, for me uh, today is uh, the culmination in a, a lot of years of hard work by a number of people uh, to try and uh, recreate uh, the atmosphere, the park atmosphere that existed here many years ago. Uh, but in saying that, I think one of the arguments that there's been uh, during the, the, the whole uh, process is, is that uh, parks as we knew it has moved on. Parks are now open leisure centres uh, where everybody can share in the enjoyment uh, that takes place. I think the history of the park, uh, it's over 100 years old, but it's been starved of investment purposely uh, by Belfast City Council. And uh, so it took a lot of hard work and at the end of a, a, a sort of a deal done between uh, councillors uh, to try and ensure that uh, a park in this area and a park in the Shangle uh, were brought back into uh, use for local community. And from the day and hour that this was completed, uh, that there have been hundreds of kids, uh, as a matter of fact, hundreds of families uh, that have come in to enjoy uh, the atmosphere and the crack uh, that there's going on. I think for the first time, I think the, the, the special thing about walking about here today uh, that has been absent for the park, from a park uh, for a generation or more is the smiling children, the smiling parents and the activity that's been organised uh, by the, the, the local youth providers and I think that, that, that says it all. And in the midst of this, uh, for many, is the jewel in the crown, is uh, the work that has been done uh, to, uh, to sort of bring the fountain back into life with its wildflower garden and many people, many older people come in, back in and uh, they look and they yearn for the day that the fountain could work again uh, but until that day I think that it sat, sits in the middle of, I uh, say, the jewel in the crown of the falls. This area, uh, which has a very, very proud history, uh, has become known as a hotbed for anti-social uh, community in this park itself, uh, uh, bore the brunt of it. Uh, the fountain had been destroyed beyond uh, repair for many. Uh, and uh, there are a number of groups that have come together, and I think Sinn Féin have played a very, very proactive role in that. Uh, to try to come up, or with, up to, uh, with an intervention uh, that would cover every life, level of life and that is leisure, uh, community, uh, play, education, health and uh, I think we're on the road uh, to, to, to doing that. I think that, uh, that we have started to tackle uh, some of the severe uh, deprivation that exists within the area and this park and other parks and community centres in the area will play a crucial element and crucial part and uh, making that uh, what we talked about a reality. Well, we, we asked for investment in working class areas of Belfast. Uh, those who uh, suffered the most during the years of conflict and turmoil, they should benefit the most from the peace. And uh, you couldn't ask for better than a Dumble Park investment, two million pounds. Uh, it's a park reborn. It's a park which we're very proud. It has a long heritage and history, uh, but I don't think it's ever seen a brighter day or a better day than it's seen today with a fantastic use, wonderful wardens. It's been really retaken uh, by the people, for the people, and it's really what parks are all about. So delighted to be mayor this year when the opening's happening. A testament to the council and the council's vision and the DSD minister's vision of investing in working class areas.